Hello YouTube! This video is going to be all about my personal community college experience. The good, the bad, and everything in between. So I'm going to start off by saying I graduated high school in 2011 and my two best friends, along with a lot of other people I knew, they went straight to UCs out of high school, straight to Cal States out of high school. And I was not one of those people. I, you know, I knew I was going to go to community college. I had a rocky time in high school. I wasn't the best student. I did care about school, but I didn't apply myself that much. And so I immediately started summer school uh, at my community college that summer when we graduated and you know I took two classes I got A's in both of them it was fine I think I was a lot happier during that time because my friends still hadn't left uh, to go to their colleges yet so I got to see them a lot more and when they left I think that really had an, a huge impact on me because it felt like you know why wasn't I good enough to go straight out of um, high school to you know one of these great schools that everyone seemed to be going to, you know. I felt really left out. They had all these, you know, shared experiences that I wasn't really a part of, you know, because I went to community college instead. So I felt really bad I about myself. I, you know, I wallowed in misery, you know, um, pretty much for no reason, you know. I didn't realize how many resources were actually available to me in community college. And so because of that and my poor attitude about school and myself and everything, I did really poorly my first semester, actually my, like my first year. I originally was a psychology major and so, you know, I started off and I just fell down the hill. I mean, it was bad. I had D's in most of my classes. I didn't care about school really. I could care less. Uh, you know, uh, the people around me, they seemed that that everyone understood everything that the teacher said like the first time and I've always had a problem with that. Um, you know, I always think that I'm supposed to get something the first time and if I don't then that means, you know, I'll never learn it and that I'm incompetent and I don't have the ability like all these other people. Um, and I, that really stuck with me the first year and I just couldn't get over that, you know thinking that no one studied or anything, they were just all naturally smarter than me. And so, you know, I I didn't do well, did not do well. Um, it was not a happy time, my grades were horrible, my GPA dropped to, you know, it was a 4.0 because of those A's that I had, and then it just plummeted to literally like a 2 point something. I don't even want to remember, it was pretty bad for me. Uh, but, you know, the the end of the first year was over, you know, and it, actually, during that year, or maybe it was the second year, I don't remember, but I took this class, ended up deciding I was going to switch my majors at this point. I decided I was going to be an English major, which, you know, requires a lot of English classes, obviously. So I, you know, I was taking this English class, and I still kind of was really nonchalant about school. I didn't know really where I was going to transfer or anything like that. And I, you know, I kind of messed around a little bit. I didn't come to class. I mean, I came to class most of the time, but I did skip a few that I probably should have gone to. And so, long story short, I ended up turning in this essay, and it's literally, we have like two weeks of school left before the semester was over. I go to turn in my essay, and my teacher returns it to me, and she tells me that she dropped me from the class like two or three months ago, and I had been coming to class for no reason, and I didn't even know I was dropped. And that was kind of a wake-up call because what was I going to do with a W on my transcripts? What was I doing with my life? Why wasn't I coming to class? Why wasn't I turning my assignments in on time? You know, I had a bit of a mini crisis there. And um, it was around that time that I met another student. Um, I actually ended up getting a job at um, on campus, which really, really helped me. Um, interact with a lot of students and get all these, you know, perspectives. A lot of people had already, you know, they were already applying and they already knew what they were going to do with their lives. So it kind of helped guide me in the right direction, I would say, having a job. Uh, so anyway, I met this student and, you know, he really got me involved in so many activities on campus. Um, I didn't realize there were so many clubs on campus and I didn't really, you know, I used to not really be interested in joining that many clubs. I didn't really know what they were all about. I thought, a lot of things that 
weren't even true about clubs and so I ended up joining this club um, and it really it was great because I got to see all these students who you know I was a fan of I thought you know these students were so much smarter than I was and then when I met them they were just regular kids who studied and worked hard you know and when I saw that they could do it it's like why can't I do that and then I realized that I could do that and of course I'm getting a FaceTime. Do I accept or do I decline, guys? I am on a roll right now. I think I'm gonna cut short and film this later. I'm so mad. Gee guys, can you tell? It's a whole lot later. That conversation lasted a long time. It's not even light outside anymore. Anyway, so where was I? I was saying how, yeah, why couldn't I work hard, right? Okay, so I realized that I could and that's exactly what I did. I, you know, I retook all the classes that I needed to retake, which was, let me tell you, quite a bit. Quite a bit. But I was fortunate enough um, to be able to, you know, study hard and go to the TLC lab, you know, the tutoring lab out on my campus, you know, study in the library, you know, really absorb all of my resources, you know, get help from, you know, tutors, get help from my friends, people in my club, and they were all very supportive, and my family was very supportive, just, you know, it, it made for a much better experience for me in general. So I raised my grades, um, I ended up getting, you know, all A's or maybe a few B's, and I got above a, you know, above a 3.5 at this time. So that was when I decided to join the Honors Club, uh, Phi Theta Kappa. And that was really great for me too. Um, you know, these people were, you know, they were really bright and really kind and really welcoming. and being a part of something that's bigger than yourself is always, you know, a really great thing for you. Uh, well, at least it was for me. And so I ended up running for secretary of one of the clubs, not the honors club, <laughs> um, but one of the clubs that I was in, I ran for secretary and I won. And then I was secretary of the club and that really helped kick into gear, you know, a bunch of things for me. I had to get organized for the club. So I became a little bit more organized. I, you know, I met a lot more people. I was able to help help other people uh, get into the field of study that I want to do, um, which it's English now, but I'm actually going to double major in biology because I want to be a doctor, so. Um, but anyway, so then came the application process, which I think I'm going to talk about in another video because I want you guys to ask me questions if you have any. I mean, maybe you don't. Maybe I answered them. I don't know. <laughs> But if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and ask me anything you want to know about community college. Or, I mean, it's my community college, so it's not going to be for everybody. But, you know, just my personal experience and in any way I can help you guys, I would love that more than anything. So, um, that and I really also recommend, I mean, for me, for if you're preparing for a UC like I am, I recommend, you know, making appointments with your counselors, going to the admissions and records office, seeing how everything is going with everybody. You know, make appointments with people, talk to people, they know, they can help you. And I also really recommend using assist.org. It helps uh, see which classes correspond with each university that you're applying to because they don't all have the same requirements, which I didn't know before I came to community college. And so there's that. And I also would call the universities that I was applying to and do just double check that these credits were transferring over and that I was doing everything appropriately and all that good stuff. So. If you have any questions, I'm going to film another one about the application process later, but feel free to comment below. And really just, I really want this video to just be about like not giving up. You know, you just set your mind to something and it can be accomplished and it's okay if you fall down a few times and it's okay that you're a little bit behind or anything like that. Just get back up and go out there full force. I mean, you can do it. Like anyone can do it. If I can do it, like I seriously promise that you guys can do it too. Don't think it's something you can't do. Like, don't be your worst enemy. You know, get out there and do it. Just get it done. It's really not that bad, I swear. Okay, I love you guys. And see you in my next video.